Let's see if we can sneak in a uh, another email question. Uh, this one is from Anthony, and Anthony asks, "Was Jesus married? And if so, what is the evidence?" I watched a program called "The Gospel of Jesus." Jesus' wife, where they claim a fragment of a document said Jesus identified Mary Magdalene, Magdalene as his wife, the so-called Gospel of Mary. Uh, I want to know what you think. Frankly, I don't buy it. I'm glad you're not buying into this. And a lot of people are buying into this because they watch The Da Vinci Code. I wrote a book with uh, Dr. Paul Meyer called The Da Vinci Code Fact or Fiction. And one of the things we talk about in that book is uh, the reality that uh, this fiction that Jesus was married is just that. It is uh, fictitious, uh, it's sensationalism, it's based on sloppy journalism, it's based on uh, manuscripts that have no credibility whatsoever. So I think in an age of historical and biblical illiteracy, it's become increasingly popular to perpetuate a notion without really having good evidence for it. Uh, and, and, and the depictions that you have uh, in, 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 in movies and books uh, that have become popular in our day are fanciful, to say the, the, the least. Uh, there's, there's no evidence whatsoever in Scripture. There's no evidence in the writings of the early Christian church. There's no evidence in extra-biblical accounts of the life of Jesus Christ that he was ever married. There's no evidence whatsoever. And contrary to the uh, oft-mentioned idea, canard, whatever you want to call it, uh, it's it's, it's just bathed in in nonsense and fiction. And and, and the nonsense and fiction that are most often cited uh, is is the Gospel of Philip and the Gospel of Mary Magdalene. And uh, this is one of the Gospels I guess you mentioned in your question. And they are not only written too late to be considered reliable, but neither specifies nor implies that Jesus and Mary were actually married. So here you have two documents that are pointed to, and people don't bother reading them. Sort of like uh, the Gospel of Judas. I mean, this is one of my favorite stories. The Gospel of Judas, I mean, it's supposed to be more erudite and sophisticated and fantastic than the Gospel of John. So I thought, you know what, I've never read the Gospel of Judas. And I thought, you know, I don't want to do this all on my own. So I invited uh, Stephen, uh, who's worked with me for 27 years, to uh, read along with me. So we went in my office and we started reading the Gospel of Judas. It's uh, 13 papyrus pages. So it's pretty short. We started reading the Gospel of Judas, which was so lauded by academics for its erudition and insight. And as we were reading it, we started belly laughing. I mean, I think we were actually on the floor at one point laughing. It was so hilarious. And that's exactly what you get with the Gospel of Philip and the Gospel of Mary Magdalene. They're late. They're not reliable. And when you actually read them, they don't make the point that they're supposed to be making to begin with. And I would say one other thing. There's no evidence from the historical record supporting the notion that Jesus was married, but we need to add to that that there's great and powerful evidence that Jesus was not married. And I got this idea actually from Paul Meyer, my co-author of the Da Vinci Code, Fact or Fiction. He pointed out in in, in 1 Corinthians 9-5 that Paul defended his right to have a wife by appealing to the fact that Peter and other apostles had wives. Don't we have a right to take a believing wife along with us, as do the Lord's brothers and Cephas? Well, as Paul Meyer pointed out, if Jesus had been married, it is unthinkable that Paul would have neglected to appeal to Jesus as the ultimate precedent. But for that reason... This is the graveyard of the married Jesus fiction, or at least it should be the graveyard for thinking people everywhere. Well, we're out of time for this week's editions of the Bible Instrument broadcast. Remember, Monday through Friday at this time, your questions answered live when you dial 888-ASK-ANK. 